Okay, so hello and welcome to another edition of the Bare Bones. So today I'm going to take a look at Fire Archers. Uh, Fire Archers seem to have fallen into disuse with a lot of veteran players. They tend to prefer the Namcans. Uh, Namcans have that bleed effect and their ability to fire in, in any weather is is the go-to choice for a Silver Arrow unit or so it would seem. Uh, but I like the Fire Archers. Uh, even though you have to quickly swap them out if you get a rainy day, because the fire, uh, the flame arrows will actually kind of not go off. But even on that, there's a fun factor scale to fire archers when you see those arrows just going whoosh that you love. Anyway, so here's here's some timestamps if you want to uh, skip ahead to more relevant data. I'm going to go over my doctrines very quickly, uh, my veteran line and the unitry because I put all I put a lot of stats in the unitry. Uh, then I, I can show you my raw calculated data. Then I'm going to go over gameplay footage of where I use arrow rain. Uh, I get in a duel with another unit. Um, I show you how to fire upstairs. Basically, uh, how to use the three abilities that this has to make sure that you don't waste your flaming arrow. And then uh, I had a guy try to kill me. And so I uh, show you how to use them for your offense. And then uh, I, I give you the actual calculation timings that I did uh prior to even doing this, but I put that in the end after the outro. So let's go over our doctrines. So the good news is with the acquisition of two doctrines, these units become more relevant and, and you know, and pretty fun to use. So you add that arrow rain doctrine and that deals an extra 65% base piercing damage with each hit. And it seems to stack with the flaming arrow ability, but you have to use it in the right order. You need to activate arrow rain first and then flaming arrow as there appears to be a slight hesitation in the shot, uh, in the animation of the shot. Now, does this translate to loss and fire arrows being shot? I'm not sure, but it looks that way from an animation perspective. And so that the second doctrine is the uh, plus five meters to range. I mean, that's just, just bonus. You can never have, you know, enough range. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the veterancy tree next. So I went at the top line of the veterancy tree. Uh, this is the line that gives you extra range, extra men, uh, more penetration, more damage, more ammo, rate of fire, that sort of thing. Uh, and then for the unit tree, I, I added, uh, well, I, I maxed it out. And the big thing is these oil pads. It gives you an extra nine seconds of damage. Now, I don't think that's nine seconds of fire um, because otherwise the base unit would have two seconds of fire. So I don't think it's nine, uh, but you do get a dot. Uh, so I think it's just nine seconds of dot. Now, I could be wrong because I just don't want to spend the cash to, to take that out. So if someone has basic fire archers that doesn't have this, uh, can you let me know how long your fire is for? Because mine's only, mine's 11 seconds. And uh, anyway, now as per my new metric, I'm going to put up the raw stats up front and the calculations after the outro. So these are the stats for uh, the, the elite fire archers. Um, now, how I got these numbers is I shot all rounds off and then calculated the rounds per second that the unit fires. So if you don't use flame arrow, you get like 12 rounds per second with about two minutes of ammo at uh, 22,000 DPS. With flame arrows, if you fire nonstop, you'll get 11 seconds of fire uh, twice because you'll, you'll, you'll get it at the beginning of, of the uh, 75 seconds. And then it'll, you'll, have an, you'll not have enough continuous fire for, it, for the cooldown to go and then you get to do it again. So this is an average rate of fire increase of about 37%. Now, these numbers reflect total damage, not damage during the 11 seconds of flame arrows. Also, this number does not include the dot, which is not possible to calculate as I don't know what that base damage is. So um, this is again, so your average of, of both. So you get either 120 seconds of shot or 75 seconds of shot. So let's, uh, so let's move on and take a look at uh, the hesitation that you'll see uh, in, the, in, the, in the following video as I, as I shoot the, uh, the fire arrows. Okay, so here we are in a field battle, looking across that gully there. And I'm just waiting for an opportunity to fire. And this is where I'm going to show you that hesitation, right? What I do with the number one key is I'm either checking range or I'm checking arc. That wheel. So, so it's just like habit for me, I just do it. Right? And then boom, there goes the flame. And now Our I'm going to use the arrow range. You can see that hesitation there, right? They're both going off at the same time, but there was that slight hesitation before they fired. Or rather, you saw a pause in the flame going out, right? So 
that's why I'm not entirely sure it's a good idea to go that route. So again, I'm up here on a mountaintop now, and I'm looking out there. You can see how that visible arc is there. Attack! That's where they'll shoot it automatically. Destroy them! So I checked range. I'm seeing Watch fire, I'm seeing hits, three, and then two. So it was basically one, three, and two, as fast as I can get it. And I use that, that number one key, basically, like I said, to check either range or arc. Attack! Yes, Commander! And now here's this, uh, the duel I'm in. This is before I started using, um, really trying to combine my, my, my arrow rain and my fire. So that, that musket player just hit me with a grenade. You can see I took a lot of damage there. And then if you look up at the corner, that's where the, the archery is coming in. So he's shooting at me. I hit him with mine. I've got the high ground. So I hit him with, 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 uh, the flame arrow at the same time. So I push him back, right? So now I keep, you can, I keep using my number one ability to make sure I can shoot past that, that auto fire zone. I'm getting hits. Now watch them. You're going to see, uh, as I do it, that they're going to keep shooting, uh, where he's going. See that? Look at that. So they, they, it's, they're not confined Attack! to that zone, right? They'll shoot at anything around it. You're just giving it an idea of where you want it to shoot. So again, I'm going to shoot Attack past my auto fire zone. Will destroy them! And he moved. Attack! He knew it was coming. Attack! But you can see the rounds hit near there, right? So Attack! do it again, number one. Will destroy them! He's shooting back. And I'm getting hits. He moved command. again, so I didn't use my number Loose. two. But this time I used number three. I used the arrow ring. And he moved out of the way again. But you'll notice I am getting hits anyway, because they they, they kind of aim as Attack. he's going, right? Destroy them! Unit yes, assemble! So that was that was basically winning. Oh, oh <laughs> sorry. I yes, pulled back commander. because I saw that musket coming up. And I'm like, you're not gonna get me twice, you bastard. So here we go. Here's the, the here's the finishing. Attack at will. Yeah, and he's down. So now I'm going into a, a staircase, and again I'm going to use my number one ability to see if I can clear the staircase. And once that's clear, then I make sure I hit my fire or the fire. So I love so I come up here. I, I place my guys on the stairway. Just give me a sec. There you go. And then I see those guys up on that staircase. So again, I use number one. And now I'm checking arc. I know I'm in range, but I'm checking arc. Take a look. All the rounds go over. Nothing hits the staircase. Fire. And fire. And Flame arrows go down. And you can actually adjust fire as you're shooting. So watch, I'll, I'll, I'll now put it down to the bottom of the stairs. And they'll kind of shift. So they're, they're now shifting. So that's how I use them, basically. It's one to check either arc or range. Three to get that arrow ring going. And then I hit the, the, the flame as soon as I hit, hit that arrow ring. And like I said, they're actually quite fun to use. Um, so now, I'm a noob uh, Odachi player, by the way. I just started it. So, and I use a lot of my free XP to just rank up my abilities. But, so again, I'm shooting at this unit, sitting on the stairs. And the hero's going to come and try and take me out. Right? Now, he's going for me, not the unit. If he goes for the unit, use whatever ability you try to knock him down. But he's going for me. So I just tell the guys to flame, and they just you know, wreck him. I didn't beat this guy, but you did. Bam, he's dead. So that's how I use fire archers, and I, I hope you you enjoyed it. I uh, got some points from it. I really like the arrow rain, and I really like how the flames work uh, with it. Um, so other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you, if you do, that would really help me out. Share this with your friends. I'd appreciate it. And uh, other than that, take care.
Attack! Destroy them! Attack! Archers, stand ready! Destroy them! them. Loose! 